Hi hey everyone, so today we're going to be looking at arrays through memory models. And what that's going to help us see is the memory side of our code and how um, everything's being allocated. And when we have certain um, code, how what we're actually referencing in memory is changing. So let's get started by creating a reference first. So here we have array1, which is going to be the name for our reference, but right now it's not pointing to anything. So Let's go ahead and draw that in terms of our memory model. So here we have array 1, and then this is where it's going to point at something if it does, but right now it doesn't. So let's go ahead and create array 2. So again, it's the same thing. This one's called array 2. Okay. And again, it doesn't point to anything right now. So now we're actually going to um, make it point to something. So we're going to have array1 equals to a new array that we're going to create. Okay, and this is going to be of size 3. And remember, when you create a new array, its values are 0. 0. Right here, okay, and our indexes are 0, 1, 2. And so array 1 is actually referencing that now or pointing to it. Okay, and the key, the key word here was the equal sign. That's how we, we made it um, point to this. So now if we do this line of code, so what that's going to do is going to make array 2 point to whatever array 1 is pointing to. So now they're both pointing to the same array. So then when we do this, so when we reference the, the first um, index, we're going to be changing that to a 5. Okay. And array 2 is going to have the same change because they reference the same array in memory. So now when we change index 1, to a 6 from using the reference array 2 it's going to change the same thing that array 1 is also referencing to so now if we do this now we're actually going to be changing what array 2 is going to be pointing to remember the keyword here is the equal sign so now let's go ahead and create this array so it's going to be 1 two and three okay so this doesn't point to that anymore and now this points to this array okay so again this this connection right here is lost but array one is still pointing to that array okay so now when we do system dot out print ln with array two the first index it's not going to use this array, it's going to use the new one that we just made it point to. So it, it would print out a 1. Okay. So now if we do this, so now we're going to be creating another array in memory of size 5. So let me just go ahead and draw that. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit awkward, but done so then you have 0 0 again 0 0 and remember the equal sign so it stops pointing to this one now and now it references this one okay so now when we do system.outprintln on the first index it's going to print out a 0 okay and if we were to do this one, just to make sure we remember what array 1 is doing, so we just go ahead and look at array 1, we follow what it's pointing to, and right now it's pointing to this array in memory, and the first index is a 5, so this would print out a 5 too. Okay, so again, memory models are good to see what's going on under the hood, and it explains what could seem like bizarre behavior. So again, just follow your memory model and everything will make sense.